start with California making history, becoming the first state in the world to ban the sale of new gas-powered cars by 2035. Yeah, those new rules just passed by the California Air Resources Board will have major implications for the auto market as the state moves forward to switch to cleaner fuel. This is a historic day. I think it's pretty clear that climate change is the single most important generational challenge that we are facing today. New at five, one of the biggest questions right now, will the state have the infrastructure to handle millions of new EVs? KPIX 5's Max Darrow has that part of the story. In order for this transition to work, current EV owners and a transportation expert tell me there's a lot of work that needs to be done. One major piece of the puzzle, expanding and developing the charging infrastructure. Over the next 13 years, you'll see more and more electric cars on California roads. You'll see fewer gas stations and more charging stations. The state is moving forward with a plan to ban the sale of new gas-powered vehicles by 2035. EV owner Nicholas Juilliard is on board. I think California is leading the way. I hope they'll, you know, manage to do this. But he acknowledges it may be a bumpy ride. It's going to be difficult, especially the main issue being charging, you know, infrastructure. As California phases out gas-powered vehicles and phases in more electric vehicles, Chetan Kumar says the charging infrastructure and technology will have to improve. With the current infrastructure, it's good. But if you have, like, no more gas cars and only electric, so I think you'll need a lot more to get through all the rush of folks trying to charge their cars. Having a universal adapter to kind of charge all cars similarly will be really, really helpful, I think. I anticipate that the great majority of charging is not going to be done at these sort of dedicated high-speed charging stations, that it's going to be people doing it at home, that it's going to be people who are, you know, at work. Professor Asha Weinstein Agrawal is with the Mineta Transportation Institute at San Jose State. We, of course, need to have dedicated charging stations that might be the equivalent of a gas station, but we also need to do the work throughout our communities, at people's homes, at employer sites, at shopping centers. Boris Yanovsky says he loves his EV, but not the plan. He says both infrastructure and driving habits will have to change. If you force people, then they're going to use their old habits. They're going to go to charging stations just like they used to go to gas stations. Which and the, when they're all out, right? Yes. And that's the wrong time to do it. There's going to be demand on electricity. There's going to be huge demand on uh, infrastructure. It's going to take some time. I don't know about 2035, but I think the goal is great. We should note the move won't ban people from owning or driving gas powered vehicles, nor will it stop them from buying used gas powered vehicles. It just means the sale of new gas powered vehicles won't be allowed by 2035. In Sunnyvale, Max Dero, KPIX 5. The Alliance for Automotive Innovation issued a statement saying, in part, California's EV sale mandates are still very aggressive, even in California, with decades of support of EV policies and will be extremely challenging. That is just a fact. So a little bit of math could make that point. California has more than 14.2 million registered vehicles. And as of a recent state report, only 73,000 public or shared charging stations. 